Hey everybody, here uh, another interview. You guys ask for them, so I bring them to you. Uh, this week we have pool party on the show. I'm really excited. Hey, yeah, pool party in the in the radio. Hey, what's up? So you guys realize that um, a listener of ours told us about you and said you guys need to have them on the show, right? I, I did not know that. Oh, oh well, that's how it works. People tell now us you know. what to play. Yeah, now you guys know. What is that like? How does that feel? I get. I think it's cool. It's pretty cool. Who was he? Is he from? Some guy named from? some guy named John. He said he was from Massachusetts. That's totally crazy. That we've never been to Massachusetts yeah. before. I don't you know are, what Johnny in Massachusetts either. So yeah, it's it's an honor and confusing. Yeah, it's weird, right? Um, I like it. <coughs> you're you guys are you guys are punk rock? Is that what this is? Hello, <laughs> Ronnie. Hey. 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 Forgive us. I don't know oh, what happened. Technical. It's the internet, man. This is what happens. I call it punk rock, dude. Whoever That's invented right. the internet is kind of a jerk. I say. Al Gore. Yeah. Fuck Al Gore. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This it's not. This is the norm, dude. I, I roll with this kind of stuff, man. When it comes. So to do we. With um the internet. Okay, so I'll just keep going. How's that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what are you guys' names? I love this stuff. What is your guys' names? I'm Creep Guido. And Gloveless. Inner tubes, Molloy. And Dick Dumb is our bass player. He's here. He's at the bar. Uh, nice place to do that. Hey, how's it going, man? Nice to see you again. Um, Say your name. Like I, like I was... Dumb. That's Dick Dumb. Hey, what's up, Dick Dumb? I love this kind of stuff. Um, you guys are punk rock? Is that what we're going to consider you guys? Like I, I don't, like I told you, I was told to hook up with you guys. I've looked at some... I've listened to some of your music. Am I right to say that you guys are punk rock? 100% punk rock. Nothing else. How, how long have you guys been playing? About 10, 11 years. We were trying to figure it out the other day. Definitely about 10, maybe 11. Nice. So you, where I, I know on your Facebook, it's like you're, you say you're from Secret Base and shit like that. Um, where are you guys from? We're, we formed in Miami, and we're just from all over the globe. My family is German and Cuban descent. He's from Ohio. Inner Tubes Malloy met us at the pool in Saga Bay. And ask this guy where he's from, because he's tired of me asking him. Where are you from? I, I don't know. I'm the forest? Yeah, we found him in the woods. I love it. Uh, <coughs> were you raised by wolves, man? I love that track, by the way. I mean, to me, they're not wolves. <laughs> they're, they're like me. I don't, I don't call them wolves. This is all new to me. I love it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I listen to a lot of your stuff. I really dig it. Um, I I, ha I happen to think that when I don't know when I describe myself I say I'm punk rock too. Like I, I listen to a lot of music on my, with my show and the way that things work, but you know when I oh. turn on the uh, the iTunes I know where I'm heading to. Um, I dig it. I really dig it. You guys got like a, a punk rock sound that's very um, I don't know. It's it's older punk rock. I think it doesn't it doesn't jive with what people are calling punk rock today. What do you think about what people punk rock today like newer stuff the newest band that i've heard is this band called the riverdales that ben weasel started they're pretty good i haven't heard anything since then yeah. i mean i haven't heard anything punk rock since yeah. then that's that's all i could say right on thank you thank you because a lot of oh, the people mean say jeans. the yeah, mean like jeans that. yeah i, like I forgot that. about them they are the best of the new bands after us <laughs> we're the best then them and then those riverdales guys one two three yeah um what I like what? Sade. Sade, that's sexy the, music. The Love that, Deluxe. That is punk rock. Though. Yeah, it is. What what bands in in Miami, other than you, should people out there be listening to? I bet you we're gonna say the same band at the same time after I count to four. One, two, three, four. The Crumbs. You see, I I lost that bet, but the Crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> do they do they have an online presence? Like, are you know, it's kind of the Crumbs. Like, do they have, like, where people going to be able to find them? Oh, my, yeah, they were actually on Lookout Records. Oh, okay. They were one of the last good bands on Lookout. They have uh, two records on that, a few on Recess. Um, they're actually pretty pretty legitimate. It's they should have been bigger. I think they probably just uh, like got lost in the shuffle, like the Saints like the or Saints. Radio Birdman, but they're, they're excellent. What's a show like yours like? Oh, my God. A show, a show like ours is a little dangerous, very wet. Um, someone sexy. generally gets hurt. Pretty sexy. I take off a lot of clothes. A lot of white margaritas going on. That's cocaine, I think. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember any of our shows. Yeah. I don't remember any of them. 
I like cocaine. Um, it's, my, uh, it's Miami, for God's yes, sakes. That's it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore because of my heart palpitations, but nice. I like to watch people do it. It gets me hard. Yeah. <laughs> it holds the key to my face. Nice. Uh, what, I, what, else are, what else do you guys got going on? I looked on your Facebook, and it looked like today was a pretty busy day. Oh, God. Yeah, right. actually, it was. Tonight, we, just, we, just we got our record release show here at Churchill's. That's where we are. They're nice enough to let us make this kind of uh, our temporary base. And uh, we just released a 7-inch on Mooster Records. Uh, the guy from the label flew down from Chicago. He's here somewhere. I think he's getting wasted. I don't know why he's doing that. Um, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but it's Miami. He's on vacation. Cheers. What are you going to do? Hey, give it to me. Um, and yeah, yesterday we did some TV thing for our friend's food truck because we wrote them a theme song. Gypsy and, Kitchen. And we're going to do another Florida tour in a couple of weeks. Florida is pretty much a country of its own. We can tour this thing up and down over and over again and see the world. Um, what seven inches is this? Teenage Weirdo. Right on. So, so it's just releasing right now? I mean, I know I've, I've listened to it online. Yeah, the, it came out July 3rd, but uh, this is, the, I guess, the release show. Oh, that's cool. One of the things that... I have an intern. His name is Mark. He's not, not here today because it's kind of early. Um, we play this game with every band that we have on called Who's Cooler. We listen to okay. the band's um, latest album, and this would be Teenage Weirdo for you guys, right? And we pick a song that we like the most off of it, and then we ask, we tell you which ones we like, and then we ask you who's cooler. You want to play? I want to yes. play. I want to play. Yeah, so I picked off of this album, Evil Tonight, yes, and sir. Mark the Intern picked What Do They Know? Who's Cooler? Evil Tonight. Evil Tonight. So me. What do they know? What do they know? Because yeah. what, what do they know is yeah. originally ours. What the hell do they know? Is there, that actually happens to be a Crumb song. Oh, okay. But they they uh, they gave us permissions to use it, sort of. Sort and of. we have uh, we have a guest vocalist on that track as well from the the original writer. Yeah, the guy from the from the, who wrote it. He sings on the song. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so I'm cooler. Evil tonight. Good. I asked a few questions of every band that I talked to, the same ones. Um, let's see, so I can get a good sense of who you guys are. What's your favorite alcoholic beverage? Beer. Jameson whiskey. Jameson whiskey. Odules. Are you, are you a sober dude? I mean, I do a lot of, uh, what's it? Um, I used to do bath salts to the guy at the guy's face. For real? So now I'm cool. Now I don't For do real? anything. For real? I don't want to eat somebody's Dude, face. This is awesome. I have not done bath salts. I have not it's, done it. I've seen it. I've seen some crazy. Black, are you guys doing the bath salts? Like, try, cro cro try, 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 try the crocodile. Now we're into this one called plant food. Not, it's, it's, it's just like bath salts, but it looks like plant food. It's pretty, it's okay. You feel like... Very ragey, and like you want to, like maybe like rip off your fingernails. I like it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I have I haven't ventured that direction yet, but I'm sure at some point it's gonna. Life be gets boring. To me. You gotta yeah. try it. It's a nice fork in the road for you. We're all gonna die, so why not? Why not? Okay, so bath salts is your favorite. No, obviously this is a stupid question. I, I love asking this, but I, I have a feeling you guys are all gonna say yes. Have you ever been so drunk you fell down? Oh yes, okay. tons of times. <laughs> I figured that one would be true. Yeah. <laughs> Unicorns. Like, I'm really drunk. Yeah. I can't get up off the floor, so I'd already fallen down. Yeah. <laughs> so I just kind of stay there. So standing up would kind of be like falling we down. Just, we just pour, we pour the booze in his mouth, so he's safe down there. Nice. Unicorns, are they overrated? Yes. No. 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 I love unicorns. Unicorns kick I don't ass. think they even exist. Unicorns I really kick ass. Don't. I'm with this guy. I think they're fantasy. My uncle had one. Your uncle had a unicorn? Was well, it as good as they say? Maybe they did exist. On a doom buggy? Yeah. It was as good as they say? That's right. All right, so I guess we're split. Oh, Most good. of us say not overrated. What is the Most weirdest thing about you guys? What was that? The What's weirdest thing about me? Yeah. Um, hmm. I would say that I learned to talk in like a month. That's pretty cool. That's pretty weird. It's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. My, penis, my penis is a little weird, but it's cool. <laughs> what, it's what's handsome. the weirdest thing about it's you, handsome. Dave? Dunn? I have a handsome dick. Uh... I don't know. He doesn't know. And I would Sorry. say the weirdest thing about me much. is that I shaved this morning and I already have a five, five o'clock shadow two hours That's early. It's like 10 o'clock right uh, there. For real? Like, is that for real? Like, I'm, yeah, it's wow, for real. We, I, think, I think I'm taking too many testosterone pills, also <laughs> one of my favorite drugs. <laughs> you, you might be part of Maniac, dude. <laughs> favorite curse words? Oh, curse words. Fuck. Shit, fuck, cunt. I like cunts. And crap. I like, I like dick fuck. 
Dick fuck is good. I like I like fuck dick. Fuck dick works. Fuck too. dick's good. Fuck I also dick. like to call people idiot. I find that they get more sad if I call them an idiot than if I call them a motherfucker. A mutter? What are you, an idiot? Oh, it makes them cry. Yes, <laughs> I agree. <clears throat> Touring. You guys said you toured all over Florida. Where's yeah. The, where's the craziest place in Florida? Like, what's the most yeah. psycho place? Yeah. yeah. Very second. Actually, yes. Where we're at right now. Miami, Miami. Little Haiti, Churchill's. Churchill's and Little Havana. This Especially in the bathroom. Little that's Haiti. where it's really crazy. That's where the sex happens. Some guy just got stabbed two minutes ago. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Where's where's the where's the safest place in Florida? Like where's like the boringest place in Florida? Titusville, Port St. Lucie, I think. T- Port St. Lucie, yeah, that's where that's where all you do there is nap, and maybe drink water. Is is we live here in Hawaii? I've lived in Hawaii my whole life, and I'm surrounded by the beach. I'm assuming Florida is sort of a beachy kind of place. Very yes. Is it overrated the beach? No, no, oh, no. What, the pools are better though. Just. Yeah. What's your nude beach scenario out there? Yeah. Right? There's a few, but you you know, they're not like advertised because we're super tourism, yeah. yeah. A lot of beautiful women over here. Our nude beach usually when I go is a lot of dudes. Maybe I go to the wrong one. No, we gotta keep it in the nude zone. The nude zone, baby. I don't know. I see a lot of penises, which is cool to compare and see where I'm at. <laughs> but I would like to see more tits. And I don't I don't get to see that many tits <laughs> at the nude beach. Uh, a lot of what's a lot of uh, what is what is it about what what out there? Uh, what's the stereotype about Miami that or Florida that is isn't correct? I was. I, I think would they're say all correct. They're all, they're I all think they're right, all pretty. Especially the bad drivers and uh, a lot of house music. I still don't even yeah. know what that means, but I'm not even a house anymore. I hear a lot of people talking about it. And Ed Hardy, I don't know what this is either. But but, but I, I do feel everything I, here is true about but, Miami. But I do feel there's an assumption that there's no such thing as punk rock or rock and roll in Miami, right. where people are generally surprised, and that's. That's one thing that we have that's very excellent. I've been to shows all over the world, and seriously, this is the craziest place. I, and I don't know what it is. Maybe since nobody comes here and we can't get out of here, we have... We're stuck. Yeah, we have a special little punk rock universe here that's pretty amazing. Is it? Is it It's thriving then? Yeah. We're the dick. We're the dick of the fucking other yeah, states. We, yeah, it's like... This no is, one wants to come down this, here. No one wants to come down here, but we're always coming. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> I like that. That was smart. I know I... <laughs> You are not an idiot, sir. That was that was smooth. Um, here, here in Hawaii, we have a bunch of scenes. There's a the punk rock scene's probably not so large. It's more like hip hop. Like local hip hop is big. In Miami, is hip hop like huge? Yeah, but it's. Oh, I, I never see it though. I never go to any of the hip hop shows around it's here. It's big. I, I see a lot of stickers though. for hip hop artists that I've never heard of. With like rifles, yeah. like they like to use rifles as their logos, bullets, and uh, I heard their songs. They don't have choruses, and they don't. Two Life Crew was wonderful. Right. Hey, Miami Bass was they wonderful, and then people got kind of stupid. I don't know. I want Two Vanilla Life. Vanilla Ice was good too. Vanilla Ice was very good. I hear they sell a lot of crap in the rap community. I don't know if that's even true. Which I like. No, it's true. <laughs> 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 it's true. All right, then they're, I give thumbs up to Miami rap crack. Yeah. <laughs> um. What's up? What's new? What's coming up for you guys? I know you got this album that this EP that's out, and that you are you have this release thing tonight. What what's new? What's coming up for you guys in the future? A, a few more seven inches. All seven inches. A ten inch maybe. I love it. I love that shit. Uh, All ten inches. Yeah. yeah. Better. And uh, just a lot more amazing songs. Probably some more gross, sexy videos. We write a lot. We're, we're in the process of always writing. Yeah, we probably write at least two songs a week, so we have like 30 ready, and we have like 12 recorded that aren't out yet, so we're always ready. That's good. So you, you guys got shows and all that shit lined up? Oh, yeah. It's great. We're, in August 4th, we're going to Titusville, Lakeland, uh, Universal Studios, well, at a bar near Universal Studios called Hopsies. I don't even know what that is. We might not show up. I feel like the promoter's lying to us. You ever, you ever, have you ever played in a band? I have not, but I've been around a whole lot of bullshit. Don't. Just don't. Sometimes don't. you book a show, you get to the venue, and they don't even know that you're going to play. That's a bad feeling. I have, I have that vibe about Hopsies by Universal Studios. It's like in the, 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 the Blues Brothers with the good old boys. You could just show up somewhere and say, oh, we're the, we're the band, and they're like, oh, they don't even know. It works both ways, that's true. You yeah. can get dicked over, or you can dig over the he club. Learned, he was so good, and we knew the Blues Brothers and everything. Man. Well, we showed him Blues <laughs> He learned how to speak English cinema. by watching Blues Brothers, Police Academy, and what was the third thing you saw? That's all Gutenberg. Right? Gutenberg. Anything with Gutenberg or Gutenberg-type scenarios. <laughs> um, 
are you guys do you guys have day jobs or is this your gig? This is your this is your thing. We all have day jobs. I mean, I during the day I clean um, like discotheque floors in South Beach. Uh, I just got my human work permit. Nice. It's just I don't a work know permit. Use it or not, but I'm a lifeguard. This was free. I don't yeah. I'm a lifeguard by the pools. I'm a crash test dummy. Yeah, this guy he 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 makes cars safe for everybody. That's hot. Lifeguard for real? Are like are you really a lifeguard? No. Uh. Yeah, sure. Why not? You said you were. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? That's a pretty. That's a pretty. That's a pretty noble job, dude. Like saving lives. I don't trust like, him. That's rough, man. I was gonna say, what's the craziest oh, person? Oh you man, saved? music started playing. We may need to move somewhere else. Oh, no, that's all right, man. It still sounds. I good. don't know why this is happening. No, I love it. Bonnie, we'll call you back. Okay. Give it. Give it a second. I don't. It's not really bothersome to me. I can still hear you guys. That's not it. Yeah. <laughs> I sound like Sade a little bit. This but is, I thought it was, but it's not the love to love. This is not. All right, we'll be back, Ronnie. All right, man. Sure. I'm going to go hang up on you, but I miss you already. Okay. See you soon, sexy. Hey. Let's Ronnie! Hold up. Are you guys in the bathroom now? Oh, wait. I don't know how to do the volume on this thing. Oh, boy. Do you, does somebody know how to work this iPad? It's got a thing. Hey, dude. Hey, hey dude. Wait. <laughs> This is hot. Are you guys in the bathroom now? Where are you guys at? Wait, I can't hear you, Ronnie. I'm sorry. Hmm. Fuck. Let me get near. Do you have a side over here? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do it. You're, you're the technology guy. I it's... never really worked with iPads. Yeah. Right here, right here. There, there it is. is. Got it. Say, oh, a, say a word. Hello. Hello. I love you. I love you. Okay, too. we have something here. Actually, uh, I. I, I can you see us? Yeah, I can. Just... It's better, right? Yes. Like you, you hear less of a Sting. I think that was Sting that was playing earlier. We have our record. We, the guy thing behind me is the guy who put it out. Cool. This is it. We feel we felt like product placement was okay. Yeah. We said, hey, bring a red one. It's on this color. Okay. Right. So okay. This is this is perfect that you're showing this. This is I was talking to a friend of mine last night. Um, we had a, a couple bands on this this past week, or we talked to a couple bands, and with the way that things are done now with the industry, you, you know, you have an online presence, you put an album out online like you, you guys have done, and, you know, everybody just goes out and steals music, right, or gets it whichever way, yeah. pays 99 cents per song, whatever. It, I, I'm assuming it's kind of, it's a different world than it used to be. <clears throat> so people have to put out albums that you know seven inches and collectible shit it's got to be certain color special colors and stuff like that is that super cool to you guys or is it is it does it become a bird is it burdensome you know is it hard is it fucked up to have to do all that i guess it's cool in the sense that i i haven't stopped buying records since i started going to punk rock shows yeah. about 19 years ago yeah. you know what i mean so it's nice to have my record in my record collection right next to all the other yeah. ones that I that I have. I was just telling like the guys like I love just buying a new record. Actually, we were talking about this last night. I love buying a new record and, and putting it on and actually just get the cover out and like read the lyrics, look at all the pictures, and listen to the whole record in its entirety. Reading you know reading everything they got, everything written in print, having a beer or two. You know, it's but fun. I can say this was weird. I, I bumped into a friend of mine at a show last week and she was like, "Creep." Only you would put out a record. You're so crazy. Like, it was the weirdest thing in the world to have some... And I'm like, well, we're not putting it out. This guy from Chicago is putting it out. And it's not that crazy. But I guess to a lot of people who aren't... Who are, like you're saying, more used to downloading 99-cent songs, it might seem weird or foreign to put something out on vinyl. But I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's the way the future is. Like, the iTunes and everything, everything digital at your fingertips, but... There are still a lot of people who are our age and even younger now that vinyl's coming back. You know, people still collect their vinyl and take Ta it serious. Tapes are coming back, which yeah. I want to be annoyed by it, but I'm afraid if I'm annoyed by it, I'll seem old yeah, and jaded. Well, I'm a little old. I'm, I guess I'm a little jaded because I don't really don't have a tape player anymore, and I don't want to buy anybody's tapes. I don't want to buy tape deck that listens to a tape. But if people like it, and yeah. I'll yeah, I'll pretend like I like it to be one of the cool guys. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I think it's pretty cool. Like I get excited. You know, like, you know, what I do, I, I, oftentimes when people want to send me CDs and shit, right? And when I go out to the mailbox and I get an album, I get excited. Like, I just you, think it's way cooler. Yeah. What's that? 
Do you have this thing yet on vinyl? No, I don't have that, man. All right, well, we we'll should we, we should find your address and mail yeah, you one. We'll send you one. Yeah, man, definitely. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, it's always a, a happier moment. You know, when you open up the mailbox and there's a bunch of CDs, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of a letdown sometimes. I, I mean, because you can just go online and listen to it. It's kind of they yeah. seem it, they seem very the same to me as CD and yeah, and, that's, that's and why records are so. The vinyl's great, you know. That's what it's the main thing I love about vinyl, man. Guys, <laughs> we got new. I got the the guys coming back. We're all here. Th those are some cool pants, man. The pink one. Are they, oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. We all got pretty cool pants. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it? Is this? Is this Miami style that we're looking at right now? Do you want? Do you want to, like, this is cool party cool style. Cool this style. is how we do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in, in a sense. In a I sense. Mean, yeah. But we can't we can't get it together, man. We need we, we need Brandon. Yeah, we need, we need his support. Like, yeah, we need guys like this. Yeah. If, if he didn't give us the deadline, we'd still be like overdubbing extra guitar tracks with effects. Yeah, you would be. I would be. I love <laughs> Andrew. I could flange all fucking. Oh my god! I forgot what song we were recording, but you wouldn't stop. I love it. I love the flange. <laughs> Um, is there anything else you want want to tell the world before I let you guys go? Um, we want to go to Hawaii to hang out with you and see the chicks you talked about. That's, that's my dream vacation. I was going to ask Hawaii. you about that. There's chicks, right? A lot of Japanese chicks, there's right? A, there's a Mbugito. Mbugito. Is there Japanese chicks? Yeah, it's completely Japanese. Is it true, D- dude. Is it true that in Japan, when you ask for coffee... That uh, it means sex. Right? It means sex. Is that true? I, I do not know in Japan. I know here we it means coffee. coffee. But, Together, but here that was, that was the plot. Yeah. Chicks with big titties. Yeah. Here in Hawaii, it's all you know. Hawaii is almost Japan. Like you know, if you go to like Waikiki, like all the menus are in Japanese. You know, there's always the Japanese really? version of everything. Yeah. Waikiki. Waikiki. Yeah. Oh, I want to say that. Waikiki. I eat a lot of raw food, so that's really good for me. I can't read Japanese, but that's what I got. Right? You're a quick learner. Yeah, you're a quick learner. There's a lot of Japanese here, a lot of Japanese girls. It's kind of Japan. You'd love, love it. If, if you like Japanese chicks, man, this is the place to come. I love them. You I like, like Japanese I'm, chicks. I just want to get a fucking Y, man. How about lady boys? There's plenty, man. Oh, that's there's, my there's, jam. There's something for everybody here in Hawaii. That's for sure. You can do sex with them like a lady, but then you can fight them like a <laughs> man. <gasps> there's a lot of them here, man. There's a lot of good ones, too, to tell you the truth. Um, really? Hold on. There's still more than that one there. Yeah. No, no, not. no. We'll, we'll find out by accident like I'm everybody listening. else. Yeah. No, if you guys do get to come to Hawaii, I think people would you'd be very refreshing for people here. It gets kind of yeah. very... Where, where exactly are you located in Hawaii? I'm on the uh, on Oahu, the on the basically the main, on the main one, but I live out in the yeah. boonies here, man. Like you know, in the boonies, like in the boonies, in this place called Do you know Beach. <laughs> What's that? Do you know Dog the Bounty Hunter? Doesn't he live there? I don't know him, but I'll tell you a story. You know, everybody likes when you know when I talk to people about, you know, when the topic of Hawaii comes up from people that don't live here. That's a question that comes out a lot, Dog the Bounty, bounty Hunter. Really? And people, one of the, the first questions most people want to know is what do we th- if we think he's cool. And nobody here in Hawaii thinks he's cool. He's, he's like, you know, he's Hawaii cool. is small. No, he's not. He's not cool. He's not. Okay, good. He's a nerd? He's a dickhead. Everybody oh, fucking hates him. Oh, That's what he got. Yeah. You know, cause, you know, here in Hawaii, everybody, you know, it's a small island, so everybody knows each yeah. other. And he's the guy that comes and takes your cousin and puts him back in jail, right? So nobody likes that. Yeah, guy. f that guy. Yeah, nobody likes. Or that. his hair. Yeah, right. No, I do love his hair. His hair is nice, but he's a dick. I love his leather, like unsolid. Yeah, I like the little feathers <laughs> and shit. I think that's pretty retro. But he's got a. He him. likes really big ladies. I bet he's got a cock ring made out of leather. <laughs> I don't know. He stole it from me. You got, but uh, Ronnie, we thank you for uh, spending some time with us today, and, and we had no idea you woke up this early, this early in the morning to play with us. No. We appreciate it. It's thank you. It's. I don't know. It's my pleasure, man. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I, you know, like, I think it's really cool because I get to talk to people from all over the world, and I just put Miami on the map here. So thank you, thank you, man. You're doing a good job. We appreciate it. Right on. Thank you. Before you do go, though, will you cut me a little bumper, like one of those? Hey, this is pool party. You're listening to beneath everything. Beneath everything, right? Yeah. Okay. So what are we saying? We say, ladies and gentlemen, this is pool party. And you're listening to Beneath Everything on the radio, internet.